In the past clips we studied for the substitution rule as a kind of inverse to the chain rule for differentiation. But here we will uh, look at an integration technique that is motivated by the inverse of the product rule. And this integration technique is called partial integration. Now suppose we have two differentiable functions on, on some interval. So we can speak of f prime and g prime. And what the partial integration technique basically says is that we may find primitive of the function f prime x times gx as follows. We take the original function fx and we multiply it by gx and we subtract it and we subtract the primitive of f prime and differentiate g of, uh, 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 the function g. So we reverse kind of the way we look at f and g. So, well, this is motivated by the reverse product rule. Later on, we're going to discuss some examples, of course. But uh, it uses the reverse product rule. What does it mean? Well, we can take a derivative of f and times g, yeah, because we assumed f and g are differentiable, so using the product rule we get f prime x times g plus f times g prime. Yeah, so if we keep the right end term, so fx times g prime x, and uh, then this equals the derivative of the product f times g, minus f prime times g. Yeah, what we did is just moving f prime g to the other side, so that if we are looking at a primitive of a function f times g prime, then this is basically the primitive of the function that we just took the derivative of, is f times g, minus f prime g. And yeah, we know that the taking integrals is a linear operation, so we may write this right, uh, right term on the right hand side as the primitive of the derivative of fx gx minus the primitive of f prime g. f prime times dx dx. But we know that if we take a derivative of a function and then look at a primitive, then of course the original function f times g, so fx times gx, is a primitive of the derivative of its derivative. That's automatic. Minus, and we keep the right hand side, so we keep the integral f prime g. So this explains basically why partial integration, as it is called, works. Um, it looks a little bit complicated, but later on you'll see uh, through the discussion of numerous examples that this is actually a quite powerful technique. And you'll learn to appreciate it for that.